Hey, welcome to Spandex Cast, um, episode, what, 11, 12? 12. 12. 14. No. I don't know how numbers work. No. We could That's just okay. give it a random That's number okay. if, you, if you like. I don't either because I'm horrible at math. But I'm your host, uh, Red Mystic Ranger, Matt, also known as. Um, joining me is Raging Phoenix, as always. Yay! Simon's a bitch and isn't here, but we have, we have a special guest today. Uh, this is, like, a really sudden thing, but he's here. You may remember him as Question. Please welcome Go Say Awesome. What's up, bitches? He's still also known as Question, though. So if oh, you yeah. remember him that way, it's kind of easy. Well, he's kind of Twitter famous, so... And that's his usual... name, my ranger crew name... What do you mean, me? only Twitter famous? He's Twitter famous, don't you know that? Yeah, but he's more than just Twitter famous. I uh, know. You know so that you go every time I come on. All twice. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like our most viewed episode, though? The one with you? Rage? Um, no, the stats? Uh, yeah, I think so, that's... but that's probably because he, he, you know, watches it from all his computers or something. <laughs> oh. Don't give away the secret. Well, That's why I was invited back, right? Not just because I happened to be online when you were deciding you wanted to. <laughs> well, then I remember it. it's Wednesday and you're off Wednesdays. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. It happens. It's all right. <laughs> we welcome you with open arms, always. Thank you. Except Thank you can you. never come except for Wednesdays. And that one Sunday next month I told you about. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we'll have him twice in a month's time. That's good. Fuck yeah. You know it's for the ladies, right? <laughs> yeah, all ladies. Yeah, all the, all the hotties in the Power Rangers fandom. Yeah, yeah he, all I of them. Those... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, all of those beautiful, perfectly legal ladies. <laughs> well, I, th- I think most of the actual... I mean, I don't know. The, the hotties just get a staff position and don't use it, I think. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yes, the hotties definitely get a staff position. Alright, well... <laughs> uh, we moving, moving on. We got we had some we got some Power Rangers news for you. Finally, for once. Yeah. Um, we have two? We have two new Yeah, ones. we have two. Okay, so this first one... Uh, spoiler alert. Um, we'll let you know... In the comments, if you don't want to be spoiled, this is about the Mega War, Legend War, whatever it's yeah. called. And we'll, uh, we'll hold we'll, our finger up so you know that it's a spoiler. Yeah, we'll we'll let you know in the description no, this is not video. what times to skip. So yeah, here we go. Um, some dude that was at um, a Comic Con thing, some some sort of con. <laughs> um, <laughs> he. Talk to Jason Font, who is appearing in Super Mega Force, the Mega War, and he told him some details about it. Well, first of all, Koichi Sakamoto confirmed he was the director of the Mega War. He said, expect a massive fight as past Rangers come together to help the Mega Force Rangers and lend the powers. Oh, I missed part. Earth only Earth only has one day left, and the Mega Force Rangers lost their powers. So. Yeah. So then the past rangers come back and help them, apparently. Yeah. Um, Jason I bet no Font... one's as excited for that as I am. Though. Oh no, it gets better. Jason Font said that the intro scene features each of the returning rangers as they help civilians from around the world. In Jason Font's case, he only has four lines in the team up, and one, and one of his scenes is him reaching his hand to save someone who happens to be. Wait for it. Fucking Tommy. Yeah. Wait, you mean saving Tommy? Or yeah. the person he's saving he's, is fucking Tommy? He's saving Tommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes it way more He's sense. saving fucking Tommy. Well, like, it's Koichi. I mean, it could have gone either way. Mm. So, that kind of means that Tommy is not awesome anymore. Right, if he's got to have fucking Wes save him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> amazing. Well, I don't know. I this don't is know. a revelation. I think, I think Tommy, as the strongest ranger ever, 
quotation marks. Does it shouldn't need to be saved? Like he should be able to hold his own. But he only has four lines. But I guess we already. Well, that's only that's only that. less. Like Tommy probably has the whole fucking show. <laughs> I'm really hoping Tommy has like three and a half lines. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. But um, Jason Font also cleared up why Saban didn't invite everyone back. Um, he said that they also got paid well. The, but the plane ticket was uh, the flight alone costed five thousand dollars. The company tried to invite Rangers back who were available, wanted them to do the team up, and still looked like still looked the same from their last appearance in Power. Yeah, so if you got ugly, which brings up the fact that Allison McInnes looked nothing like she did in Lightspeed, yeah, with the red hair and all, but they still invited her back. Not that that's bad. I love that Dana's coming back, but you know. You got to get a hand to <laughs> I know. I, maybe they were just talking about wrinkles. You're really... Oh. <laughs> okay, well, if you look at Morphicon, like, look at all the Mighty Morphin female rangers. They, they're, they like, what, 40 now, and they still look really good? But yeah, but let's face it. I, I think they, uh, that uh, just references that Jason got fat. <laughs> Yeah, we only wanted to bring back rangers who look the same and haven't gone into porn, so... <laughs> oh, 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 don't Sorry, even. Sorry, Austin. Don't even. That wasn't... I get, I get pissed when people, like, when, when I used to use Tumblr, people would post that shit. And I'd be like, no, fuck off. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the Jason thing? Yeah, how he, how he supposedly did gay porn, but that's a total lie. The guy looks nothing like him. All right, this is a Power Rangers fandom, so I guess I should say I was kidding about Jason doing porn. Yeah, ex- exactly, exactly. It's a Power Rangers fandom. No offense, <laughs> but no, I I totally mean offense. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, so that's that. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Like, even though Jason Fawn only has four lines and he has to save Tommy. Which already doesn't sound like it's off to a good start, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, it sounds amazing and perfect, and you shut your poor mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I... it's really nice that they're going to give some spotlights to returning rangers who aren't Tommy. Definitely, right. although he it, it does seem like a bit of a setup to... I mean, the same way that Bulk and Skull kind of returned in Forever Red, you know? And then we're all... I don't know, bowing almost to Tommy. They want to have Rocky come back and be Tommy's butler in Forever Red. <laughs> that is just I rude. Don't... Why? That's bullshit. No, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the moon, Rocky, um, so if you could just do me a huge <laughs> favor and make sure to scrub my toilets extra well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. sir. Taking a shit on Rocky. Well, he's scrubbing the toilet almost literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, so any last thoughts on that? Um, Megaforce is confirmed for the best season, and anyone who believes otherwise, I will punch in the throat. Go say Manta. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, was he not a fan? I don't even remember. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, shit. Anyway, moving on, we have some other exciting news for you. The fucking... I don't know, I don't know if they weren't, they weren't really clear about this, at least from what I read, but you can win um, a red SPD Ranger suit or a pink Mystic Ranger suit um, with a morpher. At least the morphers were used on the show. I don't know if this... Or the suits, are they the actual ones? Um, well, it was announced to me that way, but it was already, I don't know, the person who said it it just posted it on a forum, so, I mean... I don't know if they just had the suit made, or if it was the actual one that they used, because the wording may seem like only the morphers are. I don't know. No, I think they said the suits themselves were used on screen. Yeah, but from what I remember, it was actually said by the guy who posted it on the forum, so I'm not sure whether that's the actual information. Yeah. Well, it I don't seems know. like the uh, Ranger suits and gear, so I'm thinking either they were used on screen or the people behind this contest are trolling the Power Rangers fandom. And either way. <sighs> either way. 
Exactly. But no, that it's... just makes me think, wouldn't that mean, I mean, I have this vague feeling that, I mean, the suit would be nice, but all the gear is just crappy um, cardboard. Well, things. right, you just use the toys as the stand-ins. Yeah, probably, but why would you want a gear then? <laughs> probably they did. <laughs> no, not always did they. Yeah, pretty so, much. I mean, some toys were just too small. I mean, they were made for kids. Wait, wait, wait. Power Rangers toys were made for kids? <laughs> yeah. I don't understand it either. I thought I was just a giant. <laughs> <laughs> you no, are, you no, are. No. <laughs> but no, I really like how they're it's... both uh, Disney Ranger suits and swag. No. After Matt Austin went on about how Saban doesn't care about Disney Rangers, Saban said, you know what, fuck it, we're giving away the Disney Ranger suits, I don't care. Maybe anymore. that's why, they're like, oh, we've got all these awesome suits, but we've also got these Disney ones. Can't we're we give them away or something? Like, if it was just, <laughs> they, we want to give away a cool suit, why wouldn't they give away one of the samurai suits? Because they want to keep all their awesome ones. Probably because they want to keep those for, because it's like the season they came back on, and when they do future team-ups, that's always going to be the one that they go back to. Like, I have a feeling they're going to treat Samurai kind of like Mighty Morphin a little bit in the new era. You know what I mean? Which means Antonio is Tommy. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. No. He Which should come James back as well me. and just own everything. If anyone's going to be Tommy, it's going to be... I hope it's going to be uh, my before. Emily, Emily, say Emily, 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 <laughs> Emily, Emily, Emily. No, fucking. Speaking of Emily, though, I never really said this, but when they were on the way to New Zealand and they were posting all those photos, she looks fucking good without any makeup on, and she's got like this this nose ring that normally I think would be trashy, but she looks really good. Who the fuck is Emily again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fuck off. She's beautiful. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I I just... I, I kind of, like, I think, after I in space somewhere, I just forgot all the names. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I just can't remember all those names, especially since half of them don't get any screen time. <laughs> it's all Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. Oh, it was somewhere in Samurai, then. I'm going to look it up because you guys are not telling me. Go say wasn't wasn't Emily in your mind? Wasn't she the um, mentally oh, ch- right, yellow daughter of? <laughs> That's <laughs> how he remembers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe Emily suffers Down syndrome. Yeah. Oh, she's the daughter of what? Ryan, Ryan and Dana, brother and sister. Oh, are we talking about them now? Yeah, I I am heavily convinced they had sex. <laughs> <laughs> You, you all are really lucky I didn't finish that fanfic. That was not a <laughs> Why haven't you finished it at this point? I, I, I'm in that contest right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll drop a line later where our Red Ranger meets the husband and wife team. Oh, now. God, no. Yes. Yes, I will canonize. My no. Fanfic. Yes. And then I'll write a sequel starring Gem and Gemma. Oh, fuck. It gets I'm gonna, really score, I'm gonna score that episode. I'm gonna give that a first zero in this contest, <laughs> and then you'll know which judge I am. <laughs> well, you can't be judge two. I hope you're not judge four. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the the power is yours contest on RageVision.com. It's a fan fiction contest. Tell them yep. about it, go say. Tell them about it, go say. Yeah. Oh, um, despite the fact that we are in last place, our fanfic is clearly the best. Yeah, but it's <laughs> mostly because everyone behind you dropped out. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. Well, a good chunk of it is for one of those extra point uh, challenges, we decided to skip it. Because we'd rather tell a good story than shoehorn in a stupid plot twist that we don't care about. Yeah, I had the same thing when I was still in there. <laughs> yeah, you see that fucks you over because some of us, um... Like, we just give straight up fives to those who do it, and then therefore, like, you, that's a perfect score. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the, because we give a separate score for the twists, whatever they are. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, actually, when, when, when I had my... Zero, don't do it. For so. the first twist, we had to enter Zordon, I think, somehow, and I just did that the episode before. 
<laughs> so I yeah, had I a little flashback was... to it, and then it was like, because apparently you give fives if it's in there. Well, I still yeah. got threes because it was it was so small. <laughs> we're really off topic, but that's okay. This is we're talking about Power Rangers on a Power Rangers podcast. <laughs> it's called it it, it is it's Spanish so cast. Just lately, we're staying on, on topic? topic instead of letting conversation evolve naturally. I don't know. Like, I I've spoken to you on Ranger Crew about talking about Common Rider and a thread about the new Common Rider series. <laughs> well, we have three episodes to review, and I have a trip that I have to still pack for. But we started okay. early, so you have all the time in the world. I'm leaving tonight. <gasps> Where are you going? I'm going on a camping slash float trip. Oh, yeah, I'd hate to make you late for that. Mm. <laughs> it's awesome though. Uh, here's the thing about camping. Camping is terrible, and I hate. It. See, but then there's the part about going just floating down a river on a raft, drunk. I could do that at a water park. <laughs> well, no, I can't let them catch me drunk. But yeah, see, exactly. You can be drunk on the river, and nobody gives a fuck. Apart from when they actually come get you. I mean, isn't it no illegal to be drunk in public? Um, like... Isn't the river a public place? How does America work? Nobody... <laughs> nobody knows. Because that's what you do on a full trip. You get drunk. It's like the expected thing. Like, nobody... Like, I remember we went two years ago and one of my friends was literally passed out drunk in our raft right as soon as we got done. Passed out. And, like, the people there were just like, oh, we'll let him lay there, it's okay, we don't need to take the raft yet. Like, they just won't give a fuck. You like how we t totally tricked you into remaining off topic? <laughs> 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 fuck you guys. <laughs> um, but actually, we, uh, are we, no, we're not done with the news, are we? Yeah, that was it, just basically the, I mean, unless you guys had any final thoughts on the, Suits give give away. Well, it's not in Europe, so I don't give a fuck about those suits. <laughs> I would wear the shit out of that pink mystic horse suit. Yeah, See, don't, I, don't I don't know. I mean, it's a bit like those Sailor Moon costumes. I mean, you know, if some fat dude is gonna wear it. Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm really fat, so if I did win this, honestly, I'm only in it for the morpher because I just like to think of the places that a mystic morpher has been. Can't you get yeah. like a mannequin or something? Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. If you get a mannequin for like twenty bucks on eBay. Oh, for real? Probably. I don't know. I haven't actually checked. I'm making all of that number up, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> or just, you know. Or walk into a department store I run and run. <laughs> <laughs> or just walk to the back of the department store and wait until one breaks and just glue it together or something. I, I bet if you walked in and offered to buy a broken one, they, they would sell you one too. What are they going to do? They just throw them out. Yeah. Don't buy one. Check out the dumpster. This is true. Okay, I guess it would work out, but, you know, if I was, see, if I was skinny, I'd, I'd wear the, I'd want the SPD red one, because I would probably wear that anywhere. See, I still want the Mystic Horse one, because the skirt hides your junk. <laughs> That's a good point. I never thought about that. But no, I'd wear that, sh I'd wear that shit to Walmart, like, get my groceries back, what up? <laughs> <laughs> You should go bowling in it, because that's kind of how his pose was. That would be the coolest bowling team ever! <laughs> Just a bunch of people in Power Rangers costumes. <laughs> I wonder oh, if they let you bowl with your helmet. If they do something like that uh, uh, Kyoryujin um, Kung Fu, I mean... Oh. I then mean, he has one of those bowls as well, you know, and then he just swings around a lot, doesn't hit anything, and then suddenly... He throws it and kills someone. Mm, That's exactly how bowling works, I think, when you have wear one of those suits. True that. Yeah. I don't know, I think that would be badass, though. Yep. So, well, um, off, off episodes, off. I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Curiger segue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Curiger is amazing. Tell me um, about it. Yeah, Wait, tell, what, tell us all like, about it. No, no, I know it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just everything. I talked about this last week, but 
one of the like this these little running gags that they do, like the um where they use the ball. I still don't know remember the name. I think it's Puku Putor. The one where they use the ball and they always use it on Nosan. <laughs> yes. That shit Puka kills ball. me. Oh my god, that was so funny in twenty one. But let's start What's with on, 20 oh, since that's the first on, one. Well, I didn't remember. I thought he used it in both of them. No. In the, in the first one, he was actually incapacitated for most of it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because he got popular with the ladies. Oh, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, Everyone's like, no. To be popular with the ladies? Oh, I guess he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah, he was, was him too. I thought like he was gonna be that shit of luck and not do it. But I guess that monster's powers were stronger than I thought. Yep. And I, I also like, love how after you know it's all uh, you know the the monster is killed. I mean, nothing happens to what they found or you know the lucky stuff that happened to them. I mean, what the hell happened to that fossil? What mm. happened to the test score? What happened? <laughs> well, I what don't happened think... to all those girls end up pregnant? <laughs> what happened to all those people who won 10 million yen? <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> I think all that shit would stay the same. I mean, Except you wouldn't for the get pregnant any more. Part. I don't know about that. What? Except for no sign getting all those chicks pregnant. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think he got that lucky, but we can all dream, right? Well, um, the thing no, was, I, I don't think any of the girls got pregnant because basically <laughs> passed out the moment he got any attention. Right. <laughs> well, just because he passed out doesn't mean <laughs> they weren't still doing stuff. That is true. True that. <laughs> but, okay, no, this, this episode made me become one of those people who uh, makes up conspiracy theories. And... I seriously believe that Daigo's dad is going to be Kyoryu Silver. Oh yeah, I totally thought that as well. Well, is that Silver? Yeah, yeah. That. It is it's silver. so obvious. And then I think what's in the bag that he gave him is maybe some Beast batteries. Not sure, but May wouldn't that's it what be I'm thinking. Maybe the battery that changes into into Carnival mode or whatever it's called. Ooh, I didn't think about that. When the fuck are they going to debut that? I don't Can know. I mean, we're in in episode twenty one now. So, I'm guessing episode 30 or something? Maybe. I mean, they've been giving us a lot of shit to, like, back-to-back, -back, like, all these Spirit Rangers and all these new Zords. No, wait, 30 uh, should be the last Zord. Uh, I don't know, but this season is fucked up anyway, because the the 6th Ranger basically came way too early. So I'm not sure how it all is going to pan out. Well, they keep handing us new Rangers anyway, so... Yeah, that's true, but the official 6th Ranger that actually stays around and doesn't, you know, fuck off every time. Yeah. it's <laughs> a good way to put it. Fuck off. No, um... What was I going to say? I don't know, we're not typing. <laughs> well, the, the, the thing that did bother me about the episode, though, was, you know, um... You've got this awesome monster that, you know, basically is killing them all. And then it's like... Well, luckily, luckily enough, I've got evasion because I couldn't have anything happen to this tube. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Because before that, they didn't even know how to beat him. I mean, he didn't have to say that. It's it's just one of those typical look. Here is how you can beat me. Yeah, but he was cocky. He thought he had them. <laughs> That's true. Uh. And his ev ev evasion seems seemed pretty tight. You know, I mean, honestly, can you take any of these monsters seriously? You know, at the end of the episode, they're gonna get fucking home. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But you know, they could have handled it a little bit more smart. I mean, in the end, the the papers are going in there. He, it, the, that tube could have been destroyed in another other way without him actually telling them that that's what they had to destroy. Right. I really like how Ramirez popped in for no reason other than to give ice cream to Uchi. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, was, that, that was, was the best thing I've ever thing. seen. <laughs> and then we popped in, hey guys, I was in Belgium, have some ice cream, bye. <laughs> and now gold is dead. 
What is a fuck? Okay, what is a obviously Mexican spirit doing in Belgium or wherever it was? Yep, Belgium. I mean, most people don't even believe that's a place. Well, they're just stupid. They don't believe Belgium is a place. If it wasn't my neighbor country, I don't think I would have believed Belgium was a place either. Yeah, it's the place with all the waffles and chocolate, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a magical land, land like it's next to Neverland. Well, when you describe stuff. it like I did, it sure as hell sounds magical. Yeah. <laughs> Waffles and chocolate. Yeah. Basically. And beer. There's also a lot of beer there. You have my attention. <laughs> uh, this is actually true. Beer. I'll be drinking a lot of beer this weekend. We gathered. If it's all I'm drinking. <laughs> Now you are going off topic. Shut up. He we are Shut talking up. about Belgium. This and we'll be meeting Red Mystic Ranger on this vacation. This is my show, bitches. <laughs> You're just peasants in my game. I thought I was supposed to be the coffee one. Oh. Cock. You're, you're out, Jose, awesoming me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could never do that. We've got quite a few people on here that are cocky, though. Well, you're I mean, Simon is as well. Simon's a bitch. Not that he's actually ever on here, but... Right, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> when's the last time he's been on episode 6? Yeah, wasn't the last one just you two? Yep. Yeah, the last fucking 10 of them have been just me <laughs> and him. No, we had guests most of the time. Yeah, we had Orangey one time. He's... <laughs> Orgy's like disappeared on the face of the planet, though. Yeah. Well, well isn't, isn't he just, you know, know moving weeks. houses? You know how big India is. Maybe he's just, you know, it, it just takes one and a half weeks to get from one place to the other. I don't know. Good day. Anyway, um, Kyoto, you're 21. Violet is a fucking badass. That is all. Well, uh, apart yeah. from the fact yeah. that he yeah. gets... Things dislocated all the time. Who cares? He's still fucking awesome. By the way, Wait, dislocating the jaw oh, that that is very pumps. painful. Yeah, that also made me cringe a little bit, like when he was cracking his back and all that. <laughs> no, I just know I my jaw gets dislocated at times, and it's not it's not nice. That voice, though. <laughs> the voice of an angel. Right. <laughs> oh, that one point where he's announcing his battery right before his Gabu revolver does. That yeah. Funny. Yeah, although it did, did, did make him seem kind of, you know, timid compared to his revolver. Well, he's getting old. You can't expect him to always be that energetic. True. It was a little sad that it looks like he's not going to be sticking around as Kyoru Violet. Well, you know what I hope? I really hope, because it says he's retiring or whatever, I hope he, like, passes down his powers to his granddaughter, and then we get another girl on the team. See, I wanted that to happen, but I don't think it's going to, because why would he give Plizuan to Daigo if he was just going to give I him know. Him? Well, I... maybe it's, like, because maybe from now on he only appears in suit and doesn't talk, and secretly it's that girl who has totally a crush on King. Oh, that was adorable. <laughs> And then okay, like, that freaked me out for a second because I didn't know like when Ian was flirting with her, I thought she was like a robot for a second just because she wasn't, she yeah. didn't move at all, didn't do a thing. I thought maybe she was just, like having a robot spasm thing. Yeah, that that was true, but then it was obvious that she had a crush on King, and then it was, but you know that's that's the thing. Maybe you could just you know she could come back and pretend to be. Her grandfather, I think. Well, why would she pretend to be? She could just be her and just said, come and help me. No, she just, she just doesn't talk and doesn't appear, you know, and morphed. And then she just can get close to him be, be, without him knowing that it isn't the awesome guy it was before. I, that makes no sense to me. She'd just be a stalker. It would be amazing. I can see that. Hmm? Here, even Question it. gets it. Even Ghost Awesome gets it. 
we both get it. <laughs> I really like um, how every time Demo Meteor shows up, there's this huge Common Rider 4s reference in the show, which I know neither of you know because you're both whores who have not seen and loved Common Rider 4s. Yes. Hey, I've seen it, but I hated it. Yeah, but you yeah, didn't you, even... You, you started with the most horrible Common Rider ever. Wait, what? Well, did, did Matt, Matt started watching Kamen Rider, and then he started with fours. Yeah, he started. So with now he quit straight away. I mean, it's just a shame. I think personally, he was beaten as a child and learned that fun is bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does explain why he thinks that Hone Edge isn't a good Pokemon. Hone Edge is a shitty Pokemon. It's a fun you're a shitty Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I agree to that. So okay. every time Demo Meteor shows up, there's a Common Rider Forest reference. The first time when Pure View Gray showed up, he was doing that Wacha! crap that Common Rider Meteor used to do. Please don't make me do that. Okay. And then this time, uh, Plezuan's Megazord mode that I'm blanking on the name of. Plezuo? Yeah, that's right. It, it reminded me a lot of Common Rider Forze's uh, Cosmic State, where he'd go into space and beat the crap out of the monster. Oh. Personally, it reminded me of like the Astro Mega Ship whenever it would transform to Mega Sword. But then also that uh, the um, the ball thing that they did that reminded me of like the Go Rangers stuff that they didn't go Kaiju. Yeah, that was that was ball. totally a reference. Well. Yeah, and then if you notice, um, I know at least in the first episode of Go Kaiju, they transform into a uh, garbage truck. <laughs> yeah. Whenever um, I think it's Meteor, he's walking through the city. He like just dissolves a garbage truck right in front of him and walks through all the. That, by the oh. way, it was something that happened. Was um, one of them froze a bunch of guys that were ru running away. That was one of the monsters. He froze them, and then Meteor just shoots the crap out of a building and then off the ground. And I'm like, well, if there's frozen targets there, they probably shatter. They kill people on the show. I know, they... Apart from the fact that you probably killed people by exploding a building, but, you know, that happens every episode. Those it's are always abandoned buildings. <laughs> abandoned, abandoned warehouse district. Gotta love it. Yep. I really like how the Kyoruja actually have a bat cave now. It, <laughs> it, 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 it in no way fits with the rest of the series of uh, funny dancing samba dinosaur people, but then they're all, oh yeah, meet me in the lab. Oh yeah, we have a back game. How how did that work? I, I saw. I it. think it's their underground um, uh, dance. Underwater. Underground. It's underwater. Yeah, but under the ground, under the water. So, underground uh, dance under air. training place. Under air. That's more like it. <laughs> But, um, no. I like the granddaughter. I hope she becomes Slyly. The granddaughter was really cute. Right? I don't care, I'm right pretty there. sure I'm allowed to call it cute. But, Hold you on. know, uh, remember, Matt, how we, last week, we, or uh, last episode anyway, we were talking about how uh, it was announced that the show would take a very different turn. Yeah, the fucking the big boss is being revived. Like next. Yeah, step. that's ep next episode, and now they're already in a completely different and very dull base. Because let's face it, it's just rock. Well, I think it'd be cool if they like used it as a new base. Well, uh, you know, it's I don't know. I I like the old base. It was very George and this is just rock. It's it's not even wrong. It's just on paper, it's more different than you would think would work. But I heavily suspect Koichi Sakamoto is some sort of sorcerer, <laughs> because everything he does is amazing. It might be. Well, maybe, everything. Maybe except for Forza. But... <laughs> you, you you need to stop saying wrong things before <laughs> I put you in the. RPM is awesome. Fuck you. I just said stop saying wrong things. I just <laughs> said. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Matt, you should actually try Watch a Wizard or something. I think you might like that better. Yeah, you, yeah, you, like, terrible things, you might like 
What was that? Go say. Awesome. You like terrible things, so you might. That's actually overstating. Blizzard's not that bad anymore. There was a long stretch in the middle where it was boring. Yeah. But now it's getting pretty good. So it's actually in that way a lot like GoBusters, which, as I recall, you did enjoy. So. Ghost, okay, GoBusters is probably my favorite Sentai series. Ever. How many Sentai have you seen? Um, Decker Ranger, Maji Ranger. You watch Ghost Decker Ranger. Ranger. That's already bad taste. Um. Okay. What? Decker Ranger because I really like the concept, and then I don't watch it because I don't hate myself. <laughs> Decker Ranger was okay. I just Spoiler I alert. couldn't watch I it I, after like episode ten. I was like, these episodes have nothing to do with each other. That's okay though. I um, and then so Magic Ranger, Decker Ranger, Go Kyger, and Go Busters, and Go uh, Ranger. You should. Go Busters was terrible. No, it wasn't. Fuck you. I'm sorry. That's really mean, but fuck you. It means it anyway. I'm pretty sure I told you to shut your horror mouth a couple of times this past episode, so I'm going to let those slide. This is my show. <laughs> yes, this is your show where you say stupid things through your horror mouth. And that's why we are here, to bring some sense to this episode. Exactly. Imagine if it was just you talking for an hour. No. Nobody yeah, wants to hear exactly. talk for an hour, but that doesn't mean my opinions are bad. It just means that you have no taste. In good things. Counterpoint: We have excellent taste, and everything you touch dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you seen the GoBusters V Cinema? Actually, that was pretty good. That was that was, that was fucking but, awesome. Yeah, but here's the thing: it was fucking awesome because three quarters of it were nothing like GoBusters. <laughs> it was still awesome though. He's also it looking like forward to the musical well, movie movie of of. Gap Rincho, the musical, is going to be fucking amazing. Right? <laughs> I'm going to learn all the songs and put them on my iPod and sing them when I'm driving. No fucking shame. Well, the good part is that probably no one will realize what the fuck you're si singing. Right. They're going to hear Japan. Japan J Japanese. Yeah. I almost said J Japanese, but that's... That only shows how wrong you are. But. Well, everything you say shows how wrong you are, so please keep talking. It's well, your show. I'm not going to continue to be insulted on my own show. <laughs> I will okay. end this shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we also watched some SPD. Oh, are we done with Kyori 21? I don't know. Do you have anything to say about it? Um, maybe. Yeah, I do. Plezuo Plus is fucking awesome. Plezuo was pretty okay. Yeah. I'd go I mean, with I okay. I mean, I did it, but it's not my favorite. It's no Gabutira. <laughs> this is true. Point. I did really like how, how when Diego summoned Plezuo, Plezuon, whatever, that Violet's daughter had to manually release it. Right. Fill the uh, chamber with water, manually launch it. Yeah, didn't that, that pissed off. me off. I was like, you know what? This is a serious emergency, and you need to get your fucking Zord out there right away because this monster's going to obliterate everything. You don't want it to take two minutes to fill up with fucking water. Like, I think, feel like that's a step that should have already been taken. Well, the thing is, you everyone knows that monsters always wait until your Zord is there or you've, you're morphed or... Your Zord is actually Except for this one time today in this episode where they tried to do the roll call and then they were like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was all awesome. true. I liked, I liked that, by the way. That was pretty, uh, that was a nice touch. Has that ever been done before? Like, they were denied of doing their roll call? Probably. I just don't remember. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it has. That seems like the kind of thing I would think they'd have thought of before now. Yeah. And I mean, for instance, in Bokendra, I'm pretty sure that once a monster actually shot at them before they could transform, and then they used the bullet to turn the wheel on their accelerator. Mm, I didn't watch. I watched a little bit of Bokendra, not much. 
I watched one clip of Bokenger on YouTube where the yellow one got drunk and piloted the giant robot and stepped on stuff, and it was amazing. <laughs> did they adapt that? Did they adapt that episode for Overdrive? <laughs> Man, I went. How cool oh. would it have been if Ronnie got drunk one episode <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, couldn't handle it. <laughs> oh, Nanami just don't give no fucks. <laughs> I need to watch this clip now. I've never seen it. Uh, I'll link it to you later. <laughs> or right now, if I find it. I don't know. Oh, shit. But no, those are my thoughts on 21. We can yeah. move on. So let's go to SPD. Um, we watched uh, Robopalooza. Robopalooza. Which, by the way, felt a little bit cheaty, name-wise, because didn't he want to have... Names that were just one word. Yeah. It seemed like Robot Palooza shouldn't have been one word. <laughs> well, just me. He had. Well, I mean, I'm no English. Is. You're no English. <laughs> no, I'm no English. Well, um. Yeah, I can see that. But you know what? That's taking away from the character of the episode. <laughs> it contributes nothing. <laughs> Well, it was a bridge episode, so that's always good. I, I lost it. I lost it. The part where he, where Commander Kruger asked, um, "Why, why did you see three robots, or why did you fight three robots when the rest of us only fought two? And he's like, "No, it was five. Five robots instead what, of two. Whatever, whatever. But he goes, he just goes with a fucking straight face. Dream fighting, sir. <laughs> oh, and then Sid and. Where I'll, oh, he went there. Yeah, no, that was a, a great scene. Highlight of the episode by far. <laughs> I just I really felt like the they thing. were onto something. I mean, the evil guys were onto something. They just, I mean, they can, uh, I think they can draw all the enemies they like and hire people. Right. So why the hell don't they just wear out the uh, Rangers? He always fucking does that. <laughs> Yep. Simon so that's not Slot, if you don't know, <laughs> if you want to know why I'm pissed. Let's not dwell on it. No, but that, that's the thing. I think that, you know, if, if they would just wear out the Rangers. I mean, British would right. sleep no, at one point. That, like, back in Zeo, remember when the Machine Empire had armies and armies of cogs, but they only sent down ten at a time? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Nobody ever figures, oh, these are just humans and we're monsters. Why don't we wear them out and then curb stomp them and then have a quick tea and stone before destroying the world? <laughs> because it's Power Rangers and Super Sentai and that will never happen. Nope. Well, I suppose if you're going to be all logical about it. But well, the thing is that that's something that I did like about Maji Ranger. And I think I said this before on the show, but... Pretty sure you said this last episode because I think I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, well, I just with I, those I, titans, those ten titans or something, uh, they yeah. actually didn't. Uh, they they you know they tried one at a time to conquer the world, and that was actually their game or rule or whatever. So they actually covered it somehow. Why they wouldn't just ruffle stomp them with the ten of them? Yeah, like it's it's logical. Well, yeah. as far as one and of those rules is logical, but at least there's some well, I mean, explanation. Like that they explain it that way using that yeah. that setup that it's a game. It's not a good explanation, it's just an explanation for a change. Well, yeah. Like in Go Busters, when they morph, like it protects a shield, it makes it like a shield around them, hence why the monster can't attack them while they morph. Didn't know that, but yeah, that's also a thing. Oh yeah, because you suck and you've never seen it. <laughs> or in Kyo Ranger, where every so often when they fire their Gabu revolvers, they'll actually fire at the villains and shoot them. Yeah. yeah. They'll come back and transform them. I love that. That is why those Sentai um, uh, transformations are sometimes better, because they're simpler, so they can do it in combat, whereas with Power Rangers it's usually like, well, we're going to fire this now, and then we're going to into a half a minute transformation sequence yeah. with all kinds of jumping <laughs> and explosions. That never happened on the actual set, it's just CGI. That is nowhere to be found. Like, suddenly I'm in a waterfall changing or something, I don't know. 
They always seem to be somewhere that totally isn't where they were. Right. Maybe they teleport. Yep, definitely. It's a, it's a concept in the universe. Well, definitely, because oh, suddenly oh. they're in the Japanese mountains, always. Right. When they right. take or the drugs. when they were at school. <laughs> yeah. Does Ghost have an explanation for that? No, Ghost was probably listening. Uh, Wait, explanation for what? For why his rangers, like, will morph one place and then appear the next. Because why would you morph in front of the monster if you're expecting the monster to shoot at you while you morph? Mm, good point. Or why would you waste time going to the command center to get an explanation when you could just run to the monster and punch it in the face a bunch of times? <laughs> <laughs> Mega Force Rangers confirmed for smartest team. <laughs> Ghost they confirmed his best mentor ever? Question mark. Well, Definitely, because they don't. That he's so follow. good, they don't even need him anymore. He doesn't need to bring them to the command center for exposition. He doesn't need to train them, because Troy has that. It looks like he picked a really self-sufficient team of rangers to save the world so that he could um, sit back and enjoy being known as the best mentor ever. Yeah. <laughs> and gets lot, get lots of profit, because I'm sure that's somewhere in his plan. While Tensu just sits back and smokes blondes all day. All day, every day. <laughs> like all robots do. Oh, speaking of robots, back to this episode. Yeah. Okay. So I remember as um, maybe 11 years old was when this came on, which 10, 10 years ago. Right? I'm going to be 21 in a month, and that's crazy that this is almost... Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> sure, sure. Anyway... Um, I remember watching this, and Kat comes on. She's like, "Yeah, they just they decimated Alpha Five, and I like I was like, "What? They killed Alpha? Like I legitimately thought that they killed Alpha." But they can't decima Worldwide. decimate one person. That doesn't work that way. Well, then that's the thing. Like they didn't just like dismantle him. They decimated him. But isn't decimate but, a, a way to say that you? Destroyed by nine tenths you, of you, an army. No, it means you reduced it by a tenth. A tenth? I well, thought two a tenth. tenth. Either way, as a child, I remember this. I, I was pissed. I was like, how can they kill off five? But then they're like, oh, it's a star system. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, so basically, Alpha 5 now owns a star system in 21, uh, 2025. Which is a thing. Yeah. I don't know, but it freaked me out. Hmm. I That's the whole point I'm trying to get across. Well, <laughs> it, it, it does seem kind of weird that they used a name that is very established in Power Rangers and then used it for a random star system. Right. They could have thought a little bit harder on that. Call it ba Beta Just 5. <laughs> Given what they got, like what what was it? They, I know they referenced Ko thirty five in there, not in that ep particular episode, but in SPD. Yeah, okay. They so they know about Ko thirty five, and then they're just like, well, lo let's call this star system Alpha Five. Huh. It's oh. not the robot. We're just really bad at naming star systems. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of ideas. All the names were taken. Like, if it was Alpha, maybe Alpha 3, yeah, go for it. Why not? Or Alpha 6. Nobody likes Alpha 6. Yeah, we can definitely like, him. I like um, Space to Lost Galaxy, um, Alpha 6. And I also liked his new voice in Operation Overdrive. See, I like everything about Turbo, so... Uh, <laughs> except Alpha 6, obviously. No, I definitely liked Alpha 6 and Turbo. But you just said nobody likes Alpha 6. I have self-esteem issues. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my pain? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's my show. I'm going to laugh at whoever pain I want to. No, that's really smug of me. 
<laughs> no, I didn't mind Alpha Six. Well, it was my favorite part. I mean, I liked Demetria before she decided to stop speaking in all questions because I thought that was a really cool twist to make the Turbo Team, the the old Rangers, the veteran Rangers. She asked them questions. To try to that what they call it the Socratic method to try and get you to think for yourself, which is exactly what Goze did with his new team. So what we have is canonical proof that Goze is better at raising a team than Zordon was. Oh, Check. oh, oh, oh. checkmate, atheists. <laughs> and if he keeps this up, he's even better than Demetria then. Exactly. I mean, Demetria got so fed up with the turbos that she had to say, "Oh, you're graduating. Get back here, Morphers." <laughs> Yes. Well, that kind of makes her a bitch then, if you think about it. Oh yeah, asshole Demetria. Yeah, she was kind of. <laughs> asshole. Yeah, Zordon sucked at training you guys, so I'm just gonna start from scratch. Sorry. Tommy, yeah, but the thing is, if you want to save the world, does it really matter if you like? Well, you guys did it for so long. I'm gonna keep you guys. No, you want to save the world. Come on. If they lose. Well, well, think. Look at this way. Every time Zordon disappeared. All the Rangers were thrown for a loop. They didn't really know what to do without Zordon there. What happened when Demetria left and the power chamber was destroyed? TJ and his boys said, fuck it, we're going into space and doing this shit ourselves. Well, that seems a bit escapist, though. We're talking about power rangers. Like, <laughs> oh my god, our mentor is gone. Let's just evacuate Earth. Goodbye, everyone. Evacuating Earth? They were going to save Zordon. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's evacuating her because they were supposed to be defenders of Earth. Fuck Zordon. Why would, why well, would they? I mean, the moment Demetria is gone, person? which is established to be a better mentor than Zordon, they go off and save Zordon, one they didn't even know, and was a terrible mentor. Why would that? Well, why would they save him? Uh, For the same reason they used to save Bulk and Skull, because that's what they. Do. <laughs> Because he's a bully. Yes, I am saying Zordon is exactly like Bulk and Skull. <laughs> um, I, if I don't get some people on your YouTube channel commenting on this video that I'm an asshole and should never be on again, I'm going <laughs> to... You know you haven't done your job. <laughs> um, no, but, like, there's... See, I think they are different because Zordon is like a thousand-year-old wizard thing, and Bulk and Skull are Bulk and Skull. So, I mean, I... To be fair, did they ever say Bulk and Skull weren't 10,000 years old in Wizards? I don't uh, think so. See, I think given with their parents being on Earth, and, um, yeah, no. And they did have special skills. I mean, they were bullies, did... even though they never succeeded in bullying. Didn't they turn themselves back to human after half a year of being monkeys? <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> See, I can claim that because you guys didn't like Turbo, so I can claim whatever the fuck I want. Hey, I love Turbo. Yeah, but whenever anybody but me says that, they only mean the second half. No, except I legitimately love Turbo. I didn't mind Turbo, I just didn't see much of it because it wasn't on television in the Netherlands. Well, the first thing that I ever saw Power Rangers related was Turbo Power Rangers movie. Yeah. That's what that's what got me into Power Rangers. Like that Justin, I did see because I could actually rent that in a video store. Justin is ranked as one of my top favorite Rangers because, like, as a kid, he gave me hope that I could be one of these Rangers. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. He's not one of my super favorites, but I don't have the vitriol toward him that everybody else seems to. I think everyone was just jealous. I mean, they were like, oh my god, this guy got to be a Power Ranger. Why didn't I? They missed an opportunity of not bringing him back in Turbo to show off how badass he's become. You mean in Mega Or how badass he didn't become. Honestly, I would have rather had um, Justin back than TJ. You shut your whore mouth! <laughs> not that TJ is not awesome. I just. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Patricia Jolly's back, though, so fuck yeah. Wait, was she one of the ones coming back? Yeah. She was Cassie, right? Yes. Yeah. Huh. That's one of the names I do know, see? It's all pre-in-space. <laughs> pre <in> <laughs> 
A pre Lost Galaxy, I should say. But no, Robot Palooza was a good episode. It was. It was. <laughs> Though I did feel that you know how they uh, they always try to you know keep their power. I mean, they always try to meet their enemies with their lowest amount of power at first. You know, taking out the Megazord first and then folding on just... another sword. And now it was just like, well, we have to beat quite a few robots in a quick time in this episode. So let's just pull out the big gun straight away. Well, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, it happens. I don't know. Like, it seemed... I don't remember if this was, like, an episode of Decker Ranger. Cause it's been forever since I've seen it. But I don't know if, like, they basically just smashed together a bunch of footage of different episodes that they weren't adapting. I wouldn't just to use the make footage. footage. I vaguely remember hearing about that. Uh, I wouldn't put it beyond them. But I don't know. This was also the introduction of the SWAT Flyers, which ranks as one of my top Megazords. SWAT Flyers mm. is just such a bad name, though. Well, it, because it sounds it, like was Fly that Squatters. Is though? I mean, I love everything Lightspeed, but Omega Megazord does not roll off the top. SWAT Flyers. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like fly swatters. And then it's a gun <laughs> in space. Which means they were referencing Kamen Rider Forze like five years before it came out. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure that's a thing. Was there flies in there as well? I don't know. Forza was awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> you said awesome wrong. It's pronounced awesome. <laughs> Forze was awesome. If the dude would have toned it down with the making friends, it he might... He honestly did a little later, but you didn't give it a chance because you hate everything fun and are stupid. Why is it fun? It's not fun to have this annoying kid want to be your friend. I'm sorry. Did you just say Justin was one of your favorite rangers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Justin wasn't going around trying to be everybody's but fucking Friend. But yes, Kentaro went around and it's annoying to have him try to be your friend, which is why in the first few episodes, people didn't think of him as a cool guy they wanted to be friends with. That didn't come until he'd started saving the school. Well. You know, I think that in this day and age, most people would hate you for trying to save the school. Right, I would want, I want my school to burn. Like, whenever... <laughs> We never would but, get, like, tornado but, watches around here. I would always pray that my school was destroyed. But do you want your school to be destroyed when the person sitting next to you turns into a monster and shoots lasers at your face? Um, if you could miss my face, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if the only reason he missed your face was because the guy who had been trying to be your friend showed up and stopped him? Oh, shit. Well, if he, you know, stopped him by taking the shot into his belly. Which is what he pretty much did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, but... I wouldn't want my school to burn, but I think a lot of people I would. mean, I'd, I'd love to give you some more specific reasons why you'd like it later, but I don't want to spoil it for you if you ever do decide to pick it up again. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because I'm actually catching up on shows that I skipped... Because like I wasn't too into it. Forza. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually on Go Kyger at the moment, but I will get into Forza at, at some point. I like Forza. I like Common Rider Double. Common Rider Double was really good. Yeah, that was awesome. Wizard has a terrible plot, but its fight scenes are so pretty. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't mind the plot either. And, and I must say that I like that, uh, I forgot her name, uh, Medusa. That oh, yes, yeah, Medusa's delightful. Yeah, and like how he beat Phoenix was when amazing. Not being a uh, freaking retarded. I don't know what she's talking about. She's not being stupid. I'm sorry. I don't know what she is talking about. Oh, you we're talking about Phoenix Rider into Wizard. the sun. That was amazing. I don't want to come right here. I really liked. She was really badass at the beginning, but then she started being stupid and ditzy and stupid. Well, I I think that she didn't come off well when. That um, gremlin guy ca came in. Not even gremlin. You remember how she is the reason Phoenix went insane? 
she she went and she was talking to Phoenix, trying to find some humanity left in him. And he was all, you're right, I should do what feels right. I'm going to kill Phantom. I mean, I'm going to kill a uh, wizard, no matter what the Phantom said. <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, um, oops. Yeah, that was about the point where I decided she should just stop talking. But then she keeps talking. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of like um, the main character of Force. Yeah, except uh, when she talks, I don't want to listen to her. <laughs> yeah, and apparently when she talks, she makes things explode rather than the other way around. Yeah. Well, there's the thing. Hmm. Anyway, um, so, I think that was all the Kamen Rider stuff we had to say about Robo <laughs> <laughs> We don't we don't normally review Kamen Rider on here. Just well, here's the thing. Um, just because the person who owns the show is stupid and didn't like Forze, because as previously mentioned, they are stupid. <laughs> other people should still watch Kamen Rider. <laughs> you know what? If you talk to me like this, you're gonna be banned from my show. <laughs> <laughs> I start from in you. August when you'll I'll ban you from, just like you get banned from all these other websites <laughs> <laughs> oh damn are you went there yeah I went, I went there <laughs> that's alright I'm sure I'll find something else to do on the internet if I can't be an asshole to Power Rangers fans <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll learn how to make an herb garden learn how to make what an herb garden, an herb garden. Oh. I think Matt can help you with that he knows Not all about kind of... the herbs. I could help you with that. What's your favorite herb, Matt? Hmm. Mine's basil. Basil. That's a good one. You know, oregano's pretty good. I like oregano. Yeah. I like a nice rosemary and thyme. Oh my god, that was a really good show. That was a show? Yeah, rosemary and thyme. Huh. Yep. Did not know that. Yeah, it was about these old, uh, old ladies, old British ladies who would go around solving crimes. This is coming from the guy who likes Golden Girls, by the way. <laughs> I love the Golden <laughs> Girls. Fuck off. Well, well, that does explain it. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's about an old There's British wrong ladies. There's nothing with... wrong with the Golden Girls. Betty White is still amazing. Right, Betty White Jesus is fucking awesome. Christ. They're all awesome. I don't care. Anyway, yeah, you do know that we go off topic a whole lot. I mean, that's... Spandex cast where we occasionally talk about Power Rangers and Super Sentai. Exactly. It's it's our catchphrase, so... Also yeah. Common Rider. No Common Rider. No, you know, no, we that's not occasional. <laughs> we don't even review a Kiba Ranger on here. What? I know. Well, a Kiba Ranger's actually done now, so... Yeah, oh, is I'm, it? I'm still having to. Yeah. Oh, no. just ended a few weeks ago. Are, Isn't there going to be a three or something? Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to hope there's a three? I want there to be a three, but I feel like it took a step down going from one to two. It was still great, but it wasn't season one great. Except for the Powerful Rangers episode. That episode was fucking great. I love the gif of the two rangers looking at each other and shrugging. <laughs> yes. I mean, it, it would be really nice. I mean, I know what I want the plot of season three to be. It's not going to be, but I don't know if I were writing it, how I would do it. It never is how you want it to go. That is true. But I think it, it ended but, in a you really... Know, Kiva Ranger is so crazy that they could just hire qu question. I don't see why this couldn't be a thing. Sure. Well, I, I don't speak Japanese, I guess. Would why would that, that be a problem with, with a show that's so weird? How am I going to sign a contract if it's not in English? Um, doesn't, I mean, most contracts are so complicated, you're not even sure it's in English anyway. Sure. But I don't want to think I'm signing a contract for a huge paycheck, but really I'm signing over my firstborn daughter to them. Ooh. You know what they do to daughters in Japan. Do you even have a daughter? God, no. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... It's it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Everybody wants some chillins. Uh, kid, kids are nice, but I feel like they would get in the way of my Power Rangers watching. So, <laughs> no, 
watch it with them. Hog the TV. That's why nephews are fucking awesome. Every time I try talking to my friend's kids about Power Rangers, uh, they're always like, yeah, we don't watch that. <laughs> well, that's cause and then that... I look like an idiot, so... <laughs> that's for kids. Yeah, that's kids for are stupid babies. too. Exactly. I, I think that would happen if you say to a five-year-old, like, how do you like Power Rangers? He would just say, that's for babies. Except my nephew, because he's been... Um, uh, brainwashed and thinking that's awesome. <laughs> when are we going to expect him on the forum? Who, my nephew? Yes. He's five. That's not really answering the question, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, never. What? You should be on the show sometime. I'm sure you tell him stories about me all the time. Yes. I tell him stories about Gose, the one on screen, but I mean, basically the same thing, right? Basically, I mean, do you see any difference between me and Gose Awesome? No, because that's who I am. Uh. Yes. Well, I mean, there's a mustache. Mustache. Isn't there? I have a mustache. So, Gose's gotta be clean shaven for the show. That's true. He's got a porn stash. <laughs> or a Hitler stash. Oh my god. Yes. Kuroki. Kuroran. Whatever his name is. The one from Go Busters in the V Cinema. He had the Hitler mustache. Yes. Um, Kuroken? Yeah, Q I know his, in the, his nickname is Kuroran. Kur 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 something like that. But I think, I don't know if his, I think his last name was like Kuroki. Something like that. I don't know. Damn, how long is this episode? <laughs> what are you oh. watching? Huh? No, I'm talking about this episode of Spanish Cast. Um, well, right now it's one hour and eight minutes, probably, r roughly. Booyah. But right now it's just a lot of non content with us not talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think we should maybe close it down. Especially since you have to go to camp and stuff. It's not camp, it's a float trip. <laughs> I'm not hearing the difference. <laughs> it's not like fucking summer camp. It's, it's summer, summer and it's camp. <laughs> Fuck off. No. Um, anyway. So I think that about does it for this episode. Yeah. I've had, I've had enough people shitting on my dreams for one day. <laughs> My world. <laughs> Please. Everybody loves you. Everybody hates me. Yeah, but they still like the shit on his dreams. I mean, they Everybody say does. Mega Force is not cool. They say Mystic Force isn't cool. Please. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys. Whoa, whoa, week. whoa. What? Follow us on all of the social medias. Yeah, all of them. By us, they mean me. Mostly. Uh, yes, follow at Go Say Awesome on Twitter. Because it's not like he doesn't have enough followers already. At no. 87. Okay. I'm Feminist still sure. looks like 10,000. Fuck that. So you had like 100. No, I have 87. I'm looking at it right now. Oh. Well. Good luck with that. Well, all, all of our two listeners are probably going to subscribe to you now. Yes! Because I'm sure they're not already. Yeah, follow us on Twitter. Yeah, you should give us a little shout out on Twitter. I did. all his 87 followers. Oh, I'll get on Twitter right now. Anyway, that, Twitter. that about does it for this episode of Spandex Cast. We love you all. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Do all the good shit. Yeah. Keep it real. And Peace. Uh, cheerio and stuff. Peace. Namaste. I like money, not sure.